Hey guys, how many of you have always wanted to travel, but somehow life got in the way? And now you're not only unsure about your ability to travel, but you're wondering if that dream has passed you by. Well, if that's the case, you're in luck, because that's exactly what we're going to cover next on this week's bonus session of Manly Moments. I can get this thing to close. Might be easier if I set it on the ground and gave it a little boost with my body weight. I may need to get a new suitcase. Well, if I'm honest, even though I have done some traveling, I'm not one of these guys who absolutely loves to travel. I'm certainly no expert at it. Fortunately, I know someone who is. It's my good friend and much-traveled co-worker, Mike Bishop. How's it going, Mike? Hey, it's going good. Thanks for having me, Robbie. Mike has over 30 years experience on the mission field and has spent a lot of time in Ecuador and really has traveled all over the world. He currently serves as the global partner advocate at Fellowship Missionary Church and has never met a plane he didn't like. Mike, how many different countries have you been to? So far, I've been to 21 countries. Wow. Can you name them all? I can try. I've been in the U.S., Canada, Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Guatemala, Panama, Costa Rica, Colombia, Ecuador, Peru, England, Spain, France, Malawi, wow. South Africa, Kenya, Ivory Coast, Sierra Leone, and the Philippines. Oh, my word. Well, how many different languages can you speak? Bueno, solo hablo en español e inglés. Yeah, going to go that route, huh? Well, uh, donde esta su zapato con queso? You just asked me where my shoe with cheese is. Oh, I mean, you don't have to answer that if you're afraid. I'm more concerned about how you got your start, when you took your first trip, and how this thing unfolded for you. Well, my first real trip overseas was to Mexico. I was 35 years old, and we had just been called to go to the mission field, and we're studying Spanish in South Texas, so we would go over to Mexico. Wow. What would you say is your favorite part about traveling? My favorite part is meeting people, people from uh, different cultures and seeing how no matter where you go in the world, people are basically the same. They have the same needs, same desires. They love to laugh, and it's just fun to learn them. Hmm. Well, with all your vast globetrotting experience, I was hoping today you might share a few of your favorite travel tips with us. Are you willing to do that? Sure thing. Let's let her fly. Tip number one. If you're going to travel internationally, you have to have a passport. They're pretty easy to get at your local post office, but you've got to give it some time, several weeks. Tip number two, you've got to have a visa to get into another country. This can be done online, and you need to go and check to see if you can get it at the airport when you arrive in the country, or if you need to apply ahead of, a time, ahead of time and pay a fee. Number three is travel insurance. Most of your insurances in the U.S. do not cover you when you're overseas. So if you have a bad accident and need to be airlifted out of the country, uh, you're going to have to pay for it yourself. They're pretty easy to get and pretty cheap. Tip number four, take extra clothes in your carry-on. If you happen to get there two or three days before your suitcase does, you're going to want to change clothes. Especially, take extra underwear. Tip number five, call your credit card company and tell them you're going to be out of the country. Otherwise, they may shut you down and you're there without cash. Wow, Mike, you make it sound so easy. Kind of gives you the travel bug, doesn't it? I'm thinking more like the flu bug. Those planes are tight. Yeah, you always were claustrophobic. Germophobic. You didn't even mention the two most important things to bring on a trip. What's that? Hand sanitizer and airborne. Well, what about a hazmat suit? Make that three things. Hey, what about the guy who's always wanted to travel but never has taken the plunge and feels like maybe that dream has passed him by? Can you share some words of encouragement for him? It's never too late. Well, I started when I was 35, and if you want to get involved, missions is a great way to do it. Most local churches do have a program where they have short-term missions opportunities or a work team, and you can get involved in that, and then you won't have regrets later on. Okay, Mike, I've got one last question for you. Hey, what's that? Any chance you'll help me close my big suitcase? 
This is a lot harder. What do you have in here? Just the absolute essentials. Absolute essentials? What's this dumbbell doing in here? Well, in case I want to work out in Ethiopia. Encyclopedia? Well, a little light reading at the airport. Oh. Look at the size of this stuffed animal. Oh, that's Nipper. I never get to bed without him. <laughs> You've got some decisions to make here. Maybe I should skip the underwear. Should I, should I go commando? Maybe just a bigger suitcase. No. Good idea. I haven't even started packing Nipper stuff yet. Hey, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to this channel by clicking the subscribe box below. And we'll see you next week for another installment of Manly Moments. Right, Nipper?